Hi guys, today I want to share with you seven very simple tips that are gonna help you to transform your basic outfit to a chic, elegant and sharp look. Let's start. And the tip number one is add third piece or layering. I love adding a third piece to my outfit because of several reasons. First of all, it is a great way of adding a personal touch to your look. Second of all, it keeps you warm. Third of all, it is a great way to incorporate more textures to your look. And lastly, if chosen well, third piece can totally transform your look and your proportions and can elongate your silhouette which is always good. So for example, when you are wearing a gilet on top that creates vertical lines and it helps to elongate your body, which is always slimming and flattering. Let's move on to the tip number two. And simply like that, try new fit. You are not alone if you feel that you have been wearing slim fit jeans forever. Literally, how many years? Two, five, 10? Sometimes it's very comfortable to stay in your comfort zone. <laughs> comfortable to stay in your home. That makes sense. But you know, good news is that all the fits, I guess, all the fits, flare, uh, boyfriends, moms, baggy, slouchy, slim, straight, are in the season. So all you have to do is just try them on. Sometimes it might take some time to just get to use the new fit, get to use to a new look, but it is worth trying because with the time your preferences and your body changes and sometimes that new fit might fit as a glove and it can reflect your personality even better. So why not to try? And I'm always right now pushing ladies to stay back from the slim or very slim fitted jeans and try on mom's jeans or simple straight or classic bootcut jeans. So I would like you to try that as well. And I'm not only talking about the jeans. It is versatile rule. You can check another type of coats. You can try on another type of uh, shirts, pants, shoes. Just go out there, try new things, take photos, just have fun with it. And tip number three is add contrast. If it's not your first time watching me, you probably know that I love contrast everywhere. I love contrast in texture, I love contrast in color, in fit, in proportions, because I think that it gets so much more interesting and fun when you add contrasting pieces together, as well as it is a great and easy opportunity to give that special unique twist on your look. By adding contrast, you can transform your basic dull outfit to a very interesting and sharp look. Let's have a look into example right here. This lady is wearing a satin skirt and if you would add a satin top on top, then it would be a very expected outfit. But let's play around with textures and add a beautiful sweater, soft sweater right here and it totally transforms the look. It takes some practice to, to know how to play around with that. I think that my baby is here. Oh, my baby. <laughs> Tip number four, which is play with proportions. It might sound as a quite difficult task to do, but it is very, very easy and it makes a really big change in your look. So for example, if you opt for slouchy fit trousers, just make sure that they are fitted on your waist or they are short enough to show your skinny ankles, because in this way you're going to create skinny, oversized skinny, oversized effect, which is always flattering and it's the easiest way not to look drowned in your oversized clothes. On the contrary, the same goes for fitted clothes. If you are going for slim fit trousers, then go for a little bit oversized top. It just looks more interesting and fun. Don't forget this golden rule that things appear smaller than they really are next to bigger things. You can apply this tip even when you are dressing yourself. 
So for example, if you want your hips to look a little bit smaller, then opt for oversized sweat. Sweater, <laughs> not sweat. That means that you're gonna create some more volume on your top half of your body. And then in comparison, your legs and hips will appear smaller and leaner and thinner. Sometimes it is what we need. You have all the tools to play around with proportions and to find the ones that are flattering for yourself and flattering for your style and just have fun with it. As I always recommend, if you are going outside your comfort zone and trying some new things, do not forget to take a selfie. Take a photo of yourself and use it for just a uh, reference. You don't have to post it. Keep it for yourself, keep it for your files. And later on, you can get back and check that out. How do you look? How do you feel about yourself when you are looking at your image? This is how you get to use the new style, get to use the new color palettes. Tip number five, use accessories. I love using accessories and showing people how easily you can transform totally same outfit by just, for example, playing around with the scarves or playing around with the belts or playing around with some small uh, necklaces or earrings. So all these personal touches and details create a special vibe about your look. And sometimes it is worth investing in a beautiful scarf or nice pair of earrings rather than just adding a new blouse to your wardrobe. Also, by keeping an eye what's hot for the season, you can elevate and spice up your look without blowing your budget. So once again, experiment and have fun. Tip number six, incorporate bright colors. Adding bright color items into your look instantly makes a change, which is a really fun way to brighten up your mood and lift up your soul. If you are not so sure how to incorporate bright colors to your look, simply start with matching bright color item with neutrals. Then looking for vivid colors, the key is to choose the ones that are flattering and are complementing your whole complexion. So for example, if you are a cold tone person, then go for cold and very sharp colors. If you are more on the warmer side, then opt for softened versions of vivid colors. If you still don't feel incorporating bright colors to your outfit, then I would suggest trying to add white color to your look. It usually freshens up the whole look. Might be white boots, might be white sweater, it might be just a pop of the white color popping out from your sweater. It instantly freshens up your look and uplifts the spirit. And tip number seven, pay attention to your shoes. I bet that you know that saying that shoes can make or break the outfit. And I really feel that it really does. I really feel that it really does really <laughs> that's for real and here are two ways how you can play around with your shoes so first of all if you are looking for timeless decisions and timeless pieces then i would opt to a very classic type of shoes so for example loafers pointed toe flats uh, stilettos and so on if you are looking for the options how to spice up your look and look more on trend then the easiest way is just to have a look for an inspiration at the Zara's latest collection. Okay, because they are copying everything, what's on catwalk and what's hot. And yeah, and sometimes you can really find a good bargain in Zara as well. And also do not forget that different pair of shoes is equal to a different outfit. You can wear the same dress, but with different type of shoes, it's gonna look totally different. And if on top of that you would add some accessories, then just perfect. You can combine 10 different outfits wearing the same dress. If you are not sure about that, then I would suggest watching this video right here where I'm wearing the same dress and I have created, I guess, something around 25 outfits. So getting back to the shoes, my last tip is make sure that your shoes are always clean and neat. It's like your business cards. It is important. 
so that's where all seven tips I want to remind you that the next video will be the practical part how to incorporate these tips and how to transform your outfit from basic to a chic and elegant look thank you for your time and see you very soon sending you lots of love take care bye